Vendy T on me, but girl, my eyes are all on you. I got some. Hello, everyone here, and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about types of people that we see on the plane. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these types of people on the plane, and if you haven't flown before, well, listen up because. These are the type of people you may encounter when you do. Before we get into this video, let's see if we can smash 20,000 likes share. Be much appreciated. Smash that like button right now. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Right, so the first type of people on the plane here yeah, is... Oh my god, this is so... Oh, so cringe. Like, so cringe. Is the lads that like going on a stag dude to have beef or a magaluf or something like, oh mate, fucking shut up. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with going on a party holiday. Do you know what I mean? I've been at beef before with my mates, but it's just these type of people. And I say stag dude because it's just, uh, it's just so stereotypical, isn't it? The lads, oh the lads, get up. Oh, neeks, man, actual neeks. They're just cringy, look, I can't explain how they are, but some grown men are genuinely like this. Take a look. Hey, we're going to a beef bar. Would any of you like any drinks or snacks today? <laughs> yeah, go on. Beer for me, love. Yeah, me too. And me, darling. Um, I'll just have a wine, please, darling. Hey, why no? Why no? Why no? Why no? Why no? <laughs> I'm only joking, boys. Don't look like I should be in the kitchen. Make that a beer, love. He's played it through, he shoots, he scored a lovely Budweiser. Get it done ya, get it done ya. Oh. 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 <laughs> so, what are we gonna do when we first get there, boys? I said we just drop the bags off at the hotel and go on a massive sessing spree. All aboard the sesh train! Choo choo! Nah, to be honest, boys, when I land, you know, I've got to text the missus, let her know I'm safe. Oh, leave it out, you ain't serious. Yeah, I am. You know, I want to make sure she's okay. Okay, we're cleaning the house for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was joking, mate. You're not going to text her then? Am I fuck? I'd rather get knee deep in some cocaine and some brasses. I don't need her in my ear all going, oh, I love you. Oh, let me know if you're safe. <laughs> Miserable bitch. <laughs> The only real reason I married her, I made my girlfriend of 14 years, was so I could come on a proper laddish stack dude. <laughs> hey! Lads, 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 And the funny thing about them men, yeah, is that they're going about, oh yeah, yeah, fuck the wife, oh yeah, I'm gonna go do this. I bet when they get home, they get dominated by their bird and their little wimp. And to their mates, they're like, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I'm a chap. You're a neat, mate. <laughs> now, the next type of person on the plane, oh, mate. This is actually genuinely annoying. It's happened to me a couple of times. When there's a little kid behind you and the cunt don't have any fucking manners. You're sitting there relaxing, you know, planes are bare uncomfortable anyway, so it's not exactly relaxing. Next thing you know, you've got in the back of your chair. Cheers, mate. Yeah, carry on doing that. Always between the age of like six to 12. That age, they just think, oh, I'm gonna be a prick. Do you know what? I'm just gonna annoy the person in front of me. And they're kicking your seat. Like, what are you doing? And what's even worse is that, okay, they're a kid. The mum and dad are sitting next to them, yeah, and just letting it happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> I must have dickhead written on my forehead. Yeah, so we usually play a round of golf from my local golf club on Wednesdays. I have a membership, you see. Ah, uh, yes. It sounds lovely. I used to play golf lots myself, you know, but uh, the local club is now next to a school, so I can't go there anymore. Oh, no. That's dreadful. Why is that? No reason. <laughs> right. Well, you should come to my local golf club sometime. We'd love to- oh, This kid's been kicking my seat all flight. It's doing my head in. Oh, really? That's terrible. Why don't you say something to the mother? I would, but I just feel too rude. I can swap seats with you if you like. No, don't be silly. It's fine. No, honestly, I insist. I love little boys. I, I mean, doing favors for people I only just met. Oh. Well, in that case, I appreciate it. I'm just gonna pop to the loo and uh, I'll be back in a bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, kick it, kick it with your tiny feet. Oh, oh this is like heaven. Uh, Jason! 
I'm awfully sorry, sir. I noticed my son was kicking your chair. I'll get him to stop. No, honestly, it's ever so fine. He's just being a kid. You know what they're like. Oh, are you sure you don't mind it? I'm sure. Let him kick away. And while he's at it, get him to take his shoes and socks off as well, you know. Really massage the seat with his toes. Um. Thanks. Now the next type of person I'm playing is also to do with kids. The baby, that won't stop crying. <laughs> that you've been on a nine hour flight and it hasn't shot up a whole flight. Now obviously a baby's a baby, a baby's gonna cry. Can't really help it. But what annoys me more is why the mum and dad can't shut it up. Like, and it's not even like they're trying either. Like, I swear to God this happened to me, where all, I hear a baby crying by me, screaming loud, and all the mum's going is, <laughs> just talking to everyone else, like, just, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, the parents are just ignoring the kid, letting it cry. For everyone else's sake, can you shut the fucking thing up? I know the kid can't help crying, but you can at least try to make it quiet. Would you like any snacks or beverages today, sir? Yes, please, love, love, love. Oh, you are a loud bubba today, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? Like I said, I'll have a packet of peanuts. And... Oh, my baby! <laughs> He's a whinger today. Yeah, just like her mother. Are you? <laughs> Excuse me one second. What's his problem? Oh, sorry about him. He's just having a tantrum. Is he? Yeah. Well, fucking shut him up. Excuse me? I'm not being funny, darling, but I've had it in my ear all since takeoff. You want to tape his mouth shut? Uh, you can't tell me how to control my baby. Can't I? But I tell you what, if you don't shut up, I'll chuck the cunt out the window. Think I'm joking? How dare you? How uh, dare I? Your son is not fucking rubbing as I got on his flight. Who's gonna pay for my passport bills and my eardrums first, eh? You? Didn't think so. Um, sir, would you like us to change your seat? No, no, it's all right, sweetheart. My seat's very comfortable. Mm, okay. I'm sorry your experience with us isn't the best. Oh, no, don't worry, love, it ain't your fault. Just that fat lass behind me knocked up that slag knowing full well they ain't ready for a baby because she can't even keep the cunt quiet. Oi, oh, you can't talk to my wife like that. What's that, Augustus? What? You want me to do a bacon roll or shove it down your throat? What you choke like the fucking pig you are? You, you want to watch your mouth? Oh, what, you leave me? I'll tell you what I'll do, right? If you don't shut that thing up, Ponto, as soon as I get off this flight, I'll shove an hot poker right up your fucking arsehole and kick you like a spit roast. And as for you, I'll take your fucking face off of a scalpel. Use it as an Halloween mask. Halloween will come round, people will go to me, call Dave. That's a realistic Halloween mask. You know what I'm saying? I know it's realistic, John. It is realistic. It's a real face. I bladed someone for it in front of their kids and their dopey cunt of an husband. They say, cool, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? A bit harsh taking someone's face off on a plane, right in front of a flight, in front of everyone else, in front of their newborn kid, in front of their fucking husband. I say, I'll tell you what, she did have it coming, though. I say, how's he had it coming? How does she have it coming? They won't tell me. I say, because that fucking little child won't shut the fuck up. I had to. Temptation was there. Got a blade in my back pocket. No, they didn't search me with security. I got a blade in my back pocket. I'll fucking take your face off right now, love. Got it? So. You gonna shut him up? Good. Hey, love. Get him to a bar or something. They fucking uncle dog shit. And the final type of person you get on the plane, uh, this one I haven't seen personally, but I'm sure it happens, is the over enthusiastic air hostess. You know, air hostesses, they have to show you the safety regulations, they have to bring you drinks and stuff. But there's some of them that, you know, love their job a bit too much. This is your pilot speaking. If you could all pay attention to the cabin crew as they will now go through the safety regulations with you. Thank you. Right, guys and girlies, time for our safety regulations. Now, God forbid, if we're. Oh! <laughs> I said, God forbid! God forbid, I'm not even religious! Oh, silly me. Anyways, forbid! <laughs> That's even a word. Forbid if we ever go into the ocean. The first thing you want to learn about is. Life jackets! There's life jackets stored under all your seats. You just pop them out in the event of emergency, pop them on your shoulders and pull the string. Say it with me! Pop them over the shoulders and pull the string. Come and say you! Um, pop it over your shoulder and pull it. Yes, that's it! Louder! <laughs> um, 
pop it over your shoulder and pull the string. <laughs> You've got it. Everyone's got it. Got it? Great. Step two is you have a whistle tugged onto your thing. Wee, 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 wee. Now, obviously, it doesn't sound like that. It sounds like an actual whistle. But that's the life jacket covered. Next is the oxygen mask. <laughs> now, it will not sound like Darth Vader, but in the event, if oxygen is low in the cabin, the oxygen mask will drop and you can breathe in. Breathe in. A few moments later. Hey, sir! How's your flight going today? Fine, thank you. Um, could I get another tea, please? Of course, sir! You know what they say about tea? Drink it while it's hot, because it's in the number one spot. Number one spot for drinks, that is. <laughs> Uh-huh. Right. I'll just go grab you another one, sir. Won't be a mo. Thanks. Twelve seconds later. Here you go, sir. Oh. Your tea. Oh. Uh, thank you. Um, I'm gonna try and get some sleep now, so I wouldn't like to be bothered if that's okay. Oh, of course, sir. We do our best to make sure all of our passengers are well rested when needed. Thank you. Go to sleep, go to sleep, you are resting on a plane. Go to sleep, go to sleep, rest your eyes on a plane. What are you doing? Shh, just let it happen, sir. I'm helping, trust me. Go to sleep. <sighs> Go to sleep. Anyways, that's in the video. I hope you did enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. Let's see if we can smash 20,000 likes. It'd be much appreciated. Smash that like button right now. Make sure you go and follow my Instagram. It'll be on screen right now. We just did 100k on there, so that is sick. Thank you a lot for that. Subscribe today to join the Kezra Army. And uh, yeah, goodbye.